Adventisto just resubscribed for 18 months. Shuri 21 Hello Shuri 21 Hype.
No echo. Sorry. Whoa. But rain. That I also forgot about. But no rain. It's too nice. It has been so warm. Oh my god. I went on a walk yesterday. I went to the gym. I taught. And then I went on a walk. And oh my gosh. It was so warm. And so nice. Thoroughly enjoyed my day yesterday. Due to the weather. Specifically. So no, no rain. No wind. Nothing like that. We are a sunshine only family today. Okay? Sunshine. Lollipops. That's the vibe we're on. That's where we're at. Also, Hello. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back. Or welcome for the first time ever. If that's the situation for you. I feel like I never introduce myself because I just assume everyone already knows who I am. But, oh, well, I mean, of course, in videos. I meant in live streams. It's nice to meet you. If you're new here, hello. My name is Sheree Lorraine. Um, you could see that by my channel, but... You know, it's just nice to hear people say their own names sometimes. Cinco gifted farm and underscore Sidu underscore eighty six a subscription. Cinco gifted a tier one sub to harm and underscore Sidu underscore eighty six. They have given two hundred and forty eight gift subs in the channel. That is so close to two hundred and fifty. Iverson one G just resubscribed for ten months. Holy macro, it's been ten meters already. Cherie twenty one hype. I love the holy mackerel. That's exactly how I was feeling. Like I was like whole. I was about to be like holy moly. That's a lot because that's what I always say. But holy mackerel, it's way better. Holy mackerel. Can't believe you've given almost two hundred and fifty subs in the course of your time on the stream. That's a mod some mod power right there. Mod superpowers. Of course, you would. You would. You would just like need to do that right now. <laughs> oh. Otto Frink just gifted 25 subs. Rain Jerick 66 just resubscribed for five months. Great day to have a great day. <sighs> it is a great day to have a great day. That's true. Otto, thank you so much. I want to read everybody's name. Hold on. Hey EO underscore a joke just resubscribed hey, for two months. Yo. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back for two months. Oh my goodness, everyone. Hydra site just resubscribed for three months. Woo. Happy Tuesday in it. Cherie 21 hype, Cherie 21 hype. It's Brian's stream today. <laughs> I love this. Um, okay, let's see if I can get through at least like half of these names before something else interrupts. The real Trisky. Welcome. Welcome to Chemical Droid Magna Cali. Peter Belsager, 24. The Atomic Swan just resubscribed for 11 months. Happy 11 months. One of my favorite numbers. Mel and Bell, so cute. I don't know what that means, but I hope there's really a Mel and a Bell. Welcome to both of you. Um, Bratley67, Don Loves Cheese. Welcome to both of you. Lieutenant Dan 23. Andre. F I don't know if I'm going to be able to read that. <laughs> um, but Andre Firm. We'll just say that. Andre Firm. Gamma Heads TV. Wale. <laughs> but like Waha. Wahale. Hey yo, hey yo. Brian's gonna interrupt Sean's himself. Twenty dollars, twenty dollars from Sean. Have a great streamer. D happy Tuesday. Maybe he's not. He didn't even like cross talk. That was kind of nice. 
Doodle sweater cap. Cute. Alpha 12 year old. Sasha Butato. <laughs> what? Zorwek. Nuchi. N E E W C H Y. Nuchi. These are always so interesting. That's why I like to go read them. Hannah. Han. Hannibal, 86, Gladiator, 009, King Chris the Great, Saucy Bob Rossi, ooh, that's a good one, Jack Russell, Ka Russell Bremser, two Russell names in a row, that's really interesting, Jacques and... <laughs> I never know how to say your name, but Guiel Herm. I'm glad you got a sub. You were you've been around for a while, so welcome to all the new peeps, <laughs> Dubs. Bring the hype today, indeed. No, I swear it said Sasha. S A S H A. Bu, like beauty, but then Tato. Sasha Butato. on YouTube. I hope you have a really great Tuesday as well. I don't think I ever responded to you. I just talked about how Brian didn't overlap himself, but hey, thanks. I hope you have a really great, not only Tuesday, but the whole week. I hope it's all really good for you. Really appreciate it. Super chat. Also, I really appreciate this giant tube. I will say it has a different consistency, I think, than the smaller one, but maybe it's just because one dollop is so much more than it normally would be. It like feels thicker. Toothpaste? Not quite. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? exactly what it says it is. Healing ointment for dry, cracked, or irritated skin. <laughs> Just brushing with my fingers on the stream. It's so funny. So funny. Um, so the competition this weekend went pretty well. Um, <clears throat> the group dance that won the last competition won again at this one, which again, I didn't choreograph it. I don't know if I said that last time, I swear I did, but if not, I didn't choreograph it, it's just their jazz dance, I did the contemporary, but that still got a good score, it just didn't win. Their other one won though, both times, which is awesome. That was the big girls. The little kids did really well as well. They didn't win, but they got in the overalls for like a group. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're like eight. And honestly, at that age, <laughs> and the judges are just trying to see if they can like remember the dance and like stay together. <laughs> and it's so cute. And like, not only do they remember, they kind of stay together, they're pretty together, but they have so much personality, it's adorable. And they got like third overall, and they were all freaking out. They were like, like looking at each other like, ah, on stage when they got their score. It was so cute. So all in all, good things happened. 
I got all the scores that I was like pleased with, but we still have room for improvement, which is nice because we have not one, but two more competitions. And one of them is like a national, so it's like a really big one. So that's exciting. <laughs> this is so beautiful, I wish you could see it in like natural sunlight. It's so pretty. It's got all these really nice inclusions. Like you can like barely see on the camera, but that is like so sparkly in real life. It actually looks like little golden like flakes. It's so pretty. Can't even describe. I'm trying to though. <laughs> Also, we have a cat. We have a visitor. Are you gonna go up? Go on. That's nice. There she goes. Oh, not that way. Just doing that way. Mm -hmm. Can't go up that side. I mean, she's done that too many times. She needed a different route today, you know? She had to take the long way. call Mr. See if he'll come. A lot of you probably haven't been here since the beginning. So let me tell you the origin story of my cat, both of them, I guess, but specifically the first one I got, Mr. Man, who is not in here right now, and I'm hoping he'll show up. I just called him a few times, which is what sparked me to want to tell the story because I was living in Hawaii at the time. This was early 2020, like pretty much March where we are right now, but 2020, maybe a little bit earlier, like March 5th, something like that, super early in March. I'm pretty sure it was like right when the pandemic was starting. I can't remember if that happened in Hawaii in like late February or early March, but it was right around when it was first starting. I remember just kind of being like tethered to our neighborhood you know, feeling like I could only just, like, go out to the street and, like, stay in the driveway, and, like, that was my exposure to the air in the world, <laughs> and then I'd go back inside. I would sit on the roof a lot. That was my, that's how I coped. I would sit on the roof when we were locked down. <laughs> I was like, I'm still in the house, on the house. <laughs> it was, yeah, but anyway, so... Obviously, since I'm confined to the neighborhood, I start becoming very observant of the day-to-day -day activities there. And one of those activities was the fact that the people across the street from us had tons of feral cats that just roamed the neighborhood. But that was their, like, home base. They had a bunch of kids, too. It was just like, uh, there's a lot of stuff happening there. You know what I mean? That kind of house. Lots of cats, lots of kids. I think they had a dog, maybe lots going on and then there was like anyway it's, that's all irrelevant kind of it comes back later in the story but the first part is that 
one day, I came home after getting poke, and I had on the side of my poke like a dried piece of salmon about this big. I had eaten maybe this much, so I had like a tiny little piece left. And I see this cat on the street, and he's eating bread. These kids are just like breaking up a loaf of bread, like white bread from the store, and throwing it. And this cat's so hungry, he's just chowing it down. This poor cat. I'm like, cats don't eat bread. They would never want that over a piece of salmon. So I go up to him and I'm like, hey bud, like, why don't you eat some of this? I give him some of the dried salmon. And he obviously was like, oh, that's good. Wanted more. And we were right in front of our house, which was like, across the street and maybe a little bit to like the right or the left depending on where you are if we're looking at them we were a little more to the left if they're looking at us we're a little more to the right you get the picture we're like right in between when this happens so i think maybe he was like okay the person who's here food like both these people i can get food from and she's got good stuff so one day i go outside and I see him sitting under the bush, and I'm like, hello, and he's like, meh, meh, like the way he does, he did his little meow, and then he ran up to me, and he's never ever done this since this day. I don't know if it was our like avatar bonding moment, you know how they like do the hair thing where they're like, and then they bond and they have like that whole weird third eye moment with each other where it's like, Phew. you know what I'm talking about. We had one of those where I was sitting on the porch, which was two concrete steps, <laughs> the porch. We had like a long staircase, but at the bottom of it, there was like two steps that turned the other way to like go down the street. I was sitting on those steps and he walked up from the sidewalk and he crawled up onto my back as i'm sitting upright just like this he crawled up onto my back like i'm a tree put his hands on both sides of me and then just started like rubbing the back of my head like this <laughs> and i was like oh my god i've never had a cat just like climb on me before and just start like nuzzling into me and i felt so bad because i i don't think i had any cat food at the time so i was like okay like I'll be right back. I need to go get some food for you. And so, of course, I immediately go to the store and I go get some cat food and I come back and I don't think he was there. So I set it out for him. But then the ants got to it pretty quickly. There was a lot of ants in Hawaii and cockroaches and chickens. <laughs> but lots of ants, specifically in the story, lots of ants. And whenever I would set food out for him, they would always get it. So, obviously, when I saw him again, I gave him the food, and then I started, instead of leaving it outside, waiting for him to come to me, because, you guys, I set out a mat that day, like a doormat, on our little, we had like an awning right in front of the door, because it rains a lot, and then there was shoes and just like a bunch of stuff underneath right before you walk in so I put a mat out there we already had one but I put another one and every day he would sleep on it <laughs> he would come and sleep on this little mat outside and when it would rain I would be like oh my gosh like what if he's out there like it would be like pouring and be thundering and lightning and I'd open the door and he'd be like cold and shivering and he would like cry and then he'd come inside and at this time he was just like covered in fleas not in good shape really like rough condition pretty skinny which is why i wanted to start feeding him because he was just so skinny i was like this poor cat he's so hungry he's eating bread that's just he's so hungry so Anyway, that's how I started beating him, and I would open the door, and if he wasn't at the mat, I would call so loudly to him, and he would always come and just, like, cry back to me, like, so loudly from, like, like the next street over. I could hear him, and he would just keep crying as he got closer, <laughs> and, like, I don't know. I just was, like, I feel like this is my 
familiar. This is my cat. Like, we were destined to meet. And, like, obviously now he lives on the other side of the world. <laughs> Which I don't know if that was part of his plan, but that's what he signed up for by being my familiar. He had to come back here, <laughs> travel on a plane. Anyway, um, so to segue, he eventually, like, just started to become mainly at my house, but he would want to still go outside, and I would let him. After a certain point, though, I was like, okay, he keeps getting fleas. He was starting to get these big wounds. I don't know if it's because he was getting in fights or if I, I don't know what he was doing, but I think the fleas also made him itchy, and he was, like, scratching himself, kind of similarly to what he was doing right now, but he has no fleas, which is why he had to go get allergy tests, and then he had allergies, so this kid's got a load of problems, and he always has, but <laughs> he's also super awesome and cool, so that makes him worth it. Um, but I had to, like, force him inside, so he eventually became my cat, to the point where the neighbors across the street kind of noticed that I adopted him, and then they had a litter of kittens, and they were like, well, this girl's already, she's already taking care of one of the cats, like, why don't we just, you know, a kid just came up to me one day, I came home from a hike, I always just come home, and these kids are on the street, as you heard, they're feeding the kid bread, they were outside, and they ran up to me, and they were like, white or black? You guys have heard this before if you've been here. White or black? And of course, I was like, a black cat? Obviously, I want a black cat. Is that what I got necessarily? No, but <laughs> close enough. She doesn't have any white on her the way Manny does, which there was another cat that did, who's now named Steve, and that's Kiwi's brother, Steve. He looks just like Mr. Man, only he's got cataracts, and he's, like, a little more grumpy. He's, like, even grumpier than Mr. Man. I don't know what it is. And he has no thumbs. That's probably why he gets grumpy. Because <laughs> he didn't get the fingers. But, yeah, he had, like, the white underbelly and, like, the sleeve. And she had none of that. So they just called her a black cat. She was the only girl. She was the oldest. She was super playful, they said, really energetic. And I was like, perfect, that means she's really healthy. I'll take her. And here she is. Great cat. Nothing ever wrong with her. She is such a nice girl. MVP, really. Oh, Miss Yin. That's such a cute name. Did you have a Mr. Yang? That's quite a story. Well, thanks for listening. Appreciate that. I also wasn't reading any of the chat that entire time. I was, like, very focused on the memories. What fun memories they are. Cats of the year for a reason. Yeah, honestly, they've come a long way to be here. <laughs> they've come a long, long way. So I named him Mr. Man. Now you can hear the origin story of his name. I was calling him Young Man. That's what I would yell. I would go, Young Man! And then he would be like, rah, 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 rah. And he would come, Young Man! Every day, I would yell. It was like, I literally felt like a Disney princess being like, ah, ah, ah. And then he would come. <laughs> it was really cool, though. That's how I felt with the squirrel too, Scrappy. I, you just have to create like a, a melody for them and then I swear they recognize you and they will be like, food. It's like ding ling ling, the, the bell for rats, you know. Like, they know how to trigger the bell and they hear the sound and then they get food. Animals are really trainable in that regard. Sound, food. Those are really, really good combo. In terms of training and taming. Like, you guys, I got a wild random squirrel that I honestly thought might have rabies because it had no hair. Which, it grew its hair back. That was so cool. But I got it to, like, sit on my lap and eat out of my hand. 
To the point where I filmed footage for a video and I never used it because I never filmed the roleplay part. I should do that. I should use my scrappy footage. Scrappy was the name of the squirrel because it had no tail. Here, let me see if I can find a video. I'm not logged in on my Snapchat on here, but that is where it would be. I put a different case on today. It's like soft. You know that kind? The soft. Matte. It's got like fur on the inside for some reason though. So you can't damage the back of your phone and scratch it. Okay, let's see. <gasps> CGS 878 just resubscribed for three months. Welcome back. Ushery. I am only a three month or so, I feel inadequate. No. But I less than three. You're not inadequate. Oh no, I'm a suspicious login. That's good though. I'm glad I get a code. I'd like to send you notifications. Access the camera. Ayo. Hey, just resubscribed for three months. Another three monther. See? Three months is adequate. Mm okay. Mm -hmm. Um, scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. Hold on. Gotta find. I don't even know when the last time I saw her was. <laughs> I have this video of Kiwi meowing at me. Oh, she's so cute. The way she would. <laughs> she's like, pet me, lady. She would always try and just like step on stuff. Oh! <laughs> so classic and rude. <laughs> classic Kiwi. <laughs> Being cute and then. <laughs> I'm getting something off. Scrappy. Here we go. Look how cute. She's so cute. Aw, I miss her. She was so nice. The way she's like. I'm trying to find the times where she would like come and sit on me. Throwback to this one day I got really, really dirty in Hawaii. <laughs> uh, I had to dance in the mud in the rain for a video. Oh, okay. Here's one. It was so hard to do my phone around her because she would always be like, what is that? But she's just sitting on my knee. She was so cute. Like, you're kidding. Well, she, she would only take a few and eat them and then she would go bury the rest. And I wanted to give her supplies. <laughs> Here's me and the sugar talking. <laughs> <laughs> or why creative, sorry, I always forget that she, I don't always forget, I remember a decent amount of the time, but I do sometimes forget. Oh, okay, 
Hold on, hold on. Let's see, she's like, what is that? <laughs> like, she was about to, like, run on me. But, like, oh, I want to go this way. She would, like, run to me. See, when I have my phone, she's like, what the heck? <laughs> but then, obviously, I got her to come up. And then she was chilling. Zyphorensicjetics just resubscribed for eight months. Do you guys remember this coat? Did I ever wear this in front of you? <laughs> my big furry jacket. It's not real, don't worry. That was when I got my new car. I was so proud. What else do I have in these memories? Here's me riding a horse. <laughs> On Thanksgiving last year. Again, with the big fluffy jacket. I love horses. Like, how pretty. They were so pretty and that was just like on somebody's property, you know? And they sold maple syrup that they tapped from their own trees on their own land. Goals. Like, give me an kiwi. Ah, that's so nice. Back when this plant was alive and looking beautiful, my old place, I will say, had a lot more natural lighting. The place I'm in now does not have a lot of natural light. Obviously, I can't even, like, I'm keeping the blinds closed while I stream, but aside from this room, which doesn't have that many plants, which I think I need to move this one closer over it. Every time I try to take a picture with Kiwi, she's just like running away. Like she's like in the middle of like squirming out of my arms. She's a really hard poser. She's very hard. Except when she's being so cute. <laughs> like, look at her little happy face. <laughs> also, this sensor is bothering me so much. But, like, are you kidding? So cute. <laughs> what a weirdo. Oh, and I have a video. Look at her. She's adorable. And then she's like eating her fluff. Oh, look at that jungle. Oh my god, you're kidding. You used to be nuts in my old house. Look at that. Wow. So pretty. I can't wait for summer. I need to get back on my plant vibes. Can't wait to have a porch. And just to be like going outside. I know, I, I used to have a lot. I do still have a lot of those plants. They just don't, they're not like arranged like that. All the pothos are like, they're really long now. There aren't, they're still hanging on the beds, but now they just hang straight down, which is probably bad. They need to like grow around something. Hmm. Cute. It's always been a mystery to me whether I dream 
of riding a horse or did I really ride it? <laughs> I've ridden like camels and elephants at those little pop-up Midwest carnivals and fairs <laughs> that were probably not ethically run and abusing those poor animals. But I was a child and I had no idea. And I was like, heck yeah, I want to ride that thing. That's huge. Put me up there. <laughs> it was always so bumpy. And I'd be like, is this even fun? I don't know. <laughs> this actually doesn't seem like that good of a time. I'd rather go on the roller coaster. J City, that's such a cool emote. I need to make cool little trippy emotes like that in addition to the others. Have any of you ridden camels, elephants, even just in your day-to-day -day leisurely life, <laughs> not at a circus? I think I've also ridden like an alpaca. Yeah, camels are huge. They really are. A camel, but not for work. Good to know, I really was questioning that you might have been in the circus. And that's just a part of your origin story that we missed. Like, I just, I don't know. I need to redo these. It's getting to be that time. There is one that's like, this one. It's starting to chip away from the bottom. Hello. There we go. It's time. Gotta like take a little Dremel and be like zzzz. Zzz, zzz. Would you like to watch that? Would that be good ASMR? I feel like. Could be. Doing nails. I just would be nervous, I would mess up, and then I would get, like, frustrated. And then I'd be live, and I'd be even more frustrated, because you guys would all watch me get frustrated. <laughs> the drum was pretty loud. But I could, like, turn the volume down. I don't know. It'd be pretty loud. They have quieter ones that are built for nails. Which, like, part of me feels like maybe I should get one <laughs> that's not my jewelry flex shaft. I get, like, a nail dremel <laughs> instead. <laughs> because my flex shaft is, you know, it's got metal everywhere. You'd have to use a non-ASMR voice. Not necessarily. Everyone is searching for St. Patrick's Day. Easter. And I'm shopping for insect and pest repellent, nail files, <laughs> cell phone cases, cell phones, and women's team sport shoes, which is basically just like running sneakers. But I was looking at um, cheerleading shoes because they're really like bendy in the feet. And I kind of like having my arch mobility when I'm wearing shoes. It's kind of nice. I have dance shoes that are a split sole and I can point my feet in them. But the heel is really thick, and they actually slide off my feet very easily. Houseplant inspo, go. What do you mean, like, who I, who I gain inspiration from? There's so many people. Are you just saying, like, in specific houseplants? Like, the, the kinds? Or do you want people? Like... If you want easy to take care of, I would say pothos, for sure. <laughs> pothos are pretty easy to keep. Um, you just have to be attentive to their leaves. They will tell you a lot. Brown edges are one thing. You know, curling is another. Wilting is another. Like, you just have to learn what the signs are and what they mean 
with any type of plant that's like basically what it is like you just learn the signs and the symptoms of a healthy a sick and a dying plant and then you have to learn the treatments and then you're just like a little on-duty doctor that's taking care of them if anything goes wrong it's your job to try and fix it and obviously if you can't that's okay some patients die and that's just it's just the way it goes but if you're attentive enough and you're not too attentive either you can't water them every single day most plants are going to hate that they're going to rot it's not going to be good for them most plants you can underwater until they show you signs of being thirsty like slightly drooping or like i don't know just like looking like they need some water and then you give them water and they'll immediately go right up again totally fine fertilizer great hack give plants food that will make them grow just like everything else give them sustenance If your audio is super desynced, try refreshing the page. That's usually what works best, in my opinion. Also, I'm sorry if the music still sounded really loud for you. The mix sounded good for me, but I could be wrong. It could not be good. Succulents are good. I like succulents as well. I'm looking at nail e-files. <laughs> True Centrobi. What's objectively the worst house plant? I would say something like a Calthea. Anything that's like really sensitive to watering because it has fine roots. The thinner the roots, the smaller the root structure, the root system in terms of like literal like size of each strand the easier it's gonna rot dry out like they're just not as resilient as like a really thick rooted plant which usually is like something like sansevieria snake plant zz plant like they have like huge roots big bulbs like very different very hard to rot but easy if you're over watering because all of those plants like basically no water so I would say the hardest plants are the ones that require a lot of water, but at specific times, and like, it's just hard to keep track of, and if you're, like, having a hard time balancing, they're gonna get too dry, and then you're gonna overwater, and then they're gonna rot, and then they're gonna die, because they're not resilient, and they're hard to propagate. So, those are the hardest, hardest ones, in my opinion. Calathea, I would say, um, alocasia... There's a couple of other ones, like Syngonium, I think those are pretty hard. Just all like the really fine ones, anything that's like fuzzy, difficult, <laughs> for sure.
It looks pretty good. It's only $35. Ooh, this one is teal instead of pink. I kind of want to change my branding along with that new logo like i think i might change my brand color scheme to add in more of this like teal these are a little different but <laughs> and this is still different you know slightly and then this is also different a little bit lighter Tiffany almost but I thought that would be nice because I want to kind of bring in colored stones and I obviously want to do these green ones but I also want to do ones like hold on hold on hold on I know the little little baby guy is in here somewhere you might be saying, Sheree, there's no way you're about to just pull a gemstone out of your drawer completely loose, like the irresponsible jeweler you would be if you were doing that. And I'll say to you, guess what? That's actually exactly what I'm looking to do, is find this tiny, loose, but beautiful sapphire. It's in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. I'm ready. Hopefully you can see it. It's pretty hard to get the camera to focus on such a tiny little thing. But it's like pretty blue. I'm trying not to let it fall. And they have ones of these sapphires or even something like topaz that's like that nice teal oh like i love that with gold oh you're kidding gorgeous gorgeous so i want to incorporate that a little bit more i want to use pretty stones that make me inspired to make pretty like elvish jewelry like oh i want that right next to this one. Like, look at that green and blue. So pretty. But anyway. Anyway. Just random things I've been thinking about. Amidst all the other million things that I need to do. Don't know when rebranding my jewelry business is going to happen, but it's on my list. I have a list of all the things I want to do for the rebranding, actually. All the things I need to get done before it can launch. And some of those I'm very excited to get done, so I gotta get to the other things first, like updating the Patreon, finishing the master movie list. Um, I have a couple things for dance I need to do. And then I'm pretty much freed up to rebrand the jewelry business. There's always something I need to do though. But I'm excited to get that done, which is gonna motivate me to do the other things, so. That's good. I found it in under 30 seconds. <laughs> I know where pretty much everything is. Mainly because I have to look for everything so often. Because I will know where it is, but sometimes I put it in a few different places. So I have to like search all of them. But I like to be pretty organized. I can keep track of my belongings. I don't have that many. Yeah, I use that blowtorch to make jewelry. I have a piece on my bench right now. A size 10 three band ring. Whoever ordered that, thank you. They're in a different country, I noticed. Um, let me see, actually. 
Who was that? Maybe they're here. Um, their name is Lovis. I'm not gonna say your last name, of course. Lovis from Württemberg? Where is that? D E Denmark? Is that where that is? Yo, welcome. Anyway, they wrote me a really kind little note. Excited. Here it is, their order. Size 10. I'm making it. That's on my bench right now, right this second. It needs to be sliced and then it can get formed and put together and then soldered and it will be ready. Oh, I also need to stamp it. Germany. D-E. Really? Huh. Interesting. Deutschland. Thank you, Mark. I agree. That video is so underrated. I wish more people would watch it. I should just say it's the part two. <laughs> and then people will be like, what? Really? And then it will be the behind the scenes. <laughs> you know what's hilarious is I only made that video to like make a video to make a behind the scenes video for, and it ended up becoming one of my most popular videos of all time. But I only made it to make the behind the scenes video, which I thought was going to be the most popular video on my channel. <laughs> and it went like this. So that was interesting. Yeah, of course, it always works out. Even if it doesn't do super well, like if I'm happy with the finished product, especially if I leave it up after it doesn't do well, that's how you know. It's because I am still like really proud of it and I, I liked the final product. I thought it was good. If I didn't think it was good, I'll take it off. Because I don't know, there's just something, I mean like I get it, it's, it's art. And it's subjective and I should probably leave the ones up even if I don't like them because people do message me pretty much the day I take them down and they're like where did that one go I really liked it <laughs> and then I'm like oh I didn't I took it off because I just did not think it was the best quality you know like I just feel like my page is a portfolio almost of my work and I want to have the best of the best stuff and if I keep making new stuff that's even better than the old stuff some of the old stuff's just going to be too old and too bad to sit with the new stuff so I gotta like balance the collection out I gotta trim some of the edges you know I gotta keep my hedge you get the picture but everyone does have their own favorite that's true which is, I guess, where I wanted to, like, update the Patreon with all the live streams. So then maybe I could even have, like, a separate category. I don't even know if that's possible on Patreon. But I could have, like, a, a separate tier that's for, like, old YouTube videos. And then the stream archive. I was also thinking of moving the stream archive to just like a YouTube membership because they're on YouTube in the first place. So it seemed like it would make sense, but I don't know. I was kind of nervous about that because right now they're unlisted and I know like, I feel like the copyright stuff on the monetization is not quite the same because it's unlisted, but like I could be doing There's definitely been streams that have been like copyright flagged, not strikes. They have songs in them. It was like my 24 hour birthday stream. That one had ineligible.
yeah there is a movie list and i would love for you to add to it as well however i need to make sure it stays controlled enough where someone can't come in and just like wipe it you know like i can't just have everyone be an editor because then you know it would just it'd be bad someone would troll it i just know it i just know they would um but there is a master movie list that was started in 2022 so it clearly needs some updating there's no oppenheimer there's no barbie it's pre all of that um hold on a second my friends Here it is, Master Movie List. Oh, okay. Um can I can I zoom out? I don't I don't wanna leave the tab. Well anyway. It's got a ton of stuff on it. Title, genre. Did you watch it? Yes or no? Basically, the point of this is so you can make your own copy and then, like, use it as your own little, like, checklist. And then it has where you can stream it, how many minutes long, year published, and then you can write your own notes. I didn't go as far as to do the producer, but you could totally add that in. And then there is also one for TV shows that we haven't even started. So I would like to get this up and running again because I think it's really cool. But at the same time... I don't know who's going to keep updating it because <laughs> there's always going to be new movies. Honestly, sure. Here, I'm going to share it with you right now. Hold on. I need to go to the desktop. Share. Share. Okay. Here are your rules with the list. Make everything capitalized. Make sure it's all in alphabetical order <laughs> and um, don't leave anything blank if you can help it. And if you have to, make sure you add the little dashes. Make sure it looks aesthetically pleasing. That was what was taking me so long with it. I remember when I was making it, I was like, nothing can be lowercase. Everything has to be grammatically correct. Commas have to be everywhere. Like I just was like very, very strict with my rules of my ty typography and yeah it took a long time so <sighs> i wouldn't recommend being like that about it if you're gonna have a list because it's kind of like who cares but at the same time it was nice it looks very good so the master movie list is officially open again um i i do I think the list is complete and it just needs to continue to be filled in from wherever I left off but then feel free to like add new stuff too okay I can always go back in and like edit it <laughs> 
I can go back and fix it when I have nothing on my plate. But that's something that's been needing to get done since like August of 2022. Can you believe 2022? What are we doing? We are relaxing. Frink tipped one thousand dollars. You are so appreciated. Less than three. Thank you, Otto Frink. Keep building. I don't know. I don't know if I just said shit or like what just came out. That was like an immediate like stim moment because I couldn't even process. What? Else. <laughs> God. Keep building. That is so nice. And I will, my friend. Oh, I will. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, I'm hot and sweaty now. Like, <laughs> you guys always catch me so off guard. <laughs> You always catch me so off guard, not expecting it. <laughs> like, I don't remember what I was just talking about. I, like, genuinely, I'm like... <sighs> Can't imagine being me. Yeah. Um, whatever you feel, times it by, like, 20. And then add in a sprinkle of, like inevitable guilt because like how can you just receive something like that and not feel it required to like give back maybe you're not maybe you don't have problems like i do with receiving but clearly every single time something like that happens i'm like okay what like Aileman just resubscribed for four months less than three hold on let me just just grab my kidney for a sec. <laughs> Will you take this? Like, <laughs> Hailman. Happy four months. Swear words in the chat so she feels better. <laughs> YouTube is too much. You're so funny. Hype in the chat. Hey, sometimes YouTube has its good days, and today seems like it's one of those days. There hasn't been that many trolls in the YouTube chat, and it seems like they're hyping over there. It's a good day. It's a good day to have a good day, like Rick Ranger 66 said earlier. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. That's not what I mean, Liam. It's a good day in Twitch, too, of course. It's it's always a good day on Twitch. That's that's the point. Like, just shh. The YouTube people don't know that, and also they're like partially my boss, so just shh. No way, peacekeeper. People on YouTube, is it crashing for you? Try and watch it on Safari, maybe. Mm. -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's not very nice that you're casually watching reels during the stream. What if I was just doing that? Haha. <laughs> ha. Did you notice how the smile left my face? Because at a certain point, it's just like, you're numb. <laughs> like... Your brain is like scrambled eggs. Although you can always find hope in the comments. <laughs> no matter how scrambled eggs your content becomes, you can always find hope in the comments of other people being like, I need to get off. My brain is scrambled eggs. And then you're like, haha. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh no.
scrambled eggs are tasty. I would say that's one of my favorite forms of scrambled, excuse me, eggs in general. Scrambled eggs, but they have to be cheesy, like nice cheddar cheese, specifically. Cheddar cheese with scrambled eggs, so good. And like a little bit crispy, like not all of it, but like there needs to be some of that like crispy cheese bit. Oh, that like, you know that, it's not burnt cheese, but it's like crispy cheese. There's the flavor to it and it's good with the eggs and some hot sauce. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry for that. American melts better, but it's fake and disgusting. I hate American cheese. I don't even know what real American cheese is because what even does American cheese mean? That it's a, a mix? <laughs> a mixture of cheese and other stuff? Because that's what it means to be American. It's either a melting pot mixed bag or fake. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think it's the latter, but you know. <laughs> Just my opinion. After having craft singles for my entire childhood and hating them, <laughs> and hating like even just like the string cheese that's processed versus like actual mozzarella, real mozzarella delicious, so good. So were you one of the people with string cheese who stringed your cheese, or did you like a crazy person? Who were you? Were you a little chomper, or were you a delicatess and pulling those strings? Yeah, I knew we would have some freaking biters here. How could you not want those little... You can you can see it right now, can't you? That stringy piece of cheese. Good. You little chompers, you freaking weirdos. I'll be crazy and not have greased up fingers. <laughs> I know, like those are the things where I'd be like, oh, a string cheese? Yeah, I'll who wants to trade this for their apple? Please take this. I do not want the string cheese, but I do want your apple. Oh, the lunchroom days. And now we can just go buy food. That's pretty nice. What an upgrade. You gotta just see adulting as an upgrade. We had to barter our lunches away as children, and now we can just go spend currency. We can just pay for things. I suppose you could do that as a child if you had rich parents and you could yell at them and like they'd get you what you want. But for most of us, our life wasn't like that. We didn't have access to currency as children, and therefore we could not make our own decisions in terms of the food that we got. Adulting does have its perks, that's what I'm trying to say. I know sometimes we like to complain about the prices of the groceries, which is like totally valid, but at the same time, it's pretty nice that we have the freedom to even like buy our own groceries and choose what we want. What if we were getting rations? And then we were bartering our rations because we didn't get freedom of choice of our food. They were giving it to us and then we had to like pick and choose what our favorite parts of the stuff they gave us were so we could give that to other people or get more and then give what we didn't like. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. Just saying. You have chomped? Yikes. Yikes, yikes. The cheese factory near you exploded. Nothing left but debris. <laughs> I love when you guys word stuff. Jokes. Puns. I can't, what even, was it a pun? It was a pun joke. Regardless, you always word them to the point where I think you're just like saying something. And I'm like, oh no, the cheese factory exploded. <gasps> Wow, drama. Like, what a way to tie in the conversation to your deepest <laughs> drama. 
Really, if the cheese factory exploded, I'd be dramatized. No more cheese for the town. But no, you're just making a debris joke. <laughs> okay. Okay. It was pretty good. It was pretty funny. Good job. I have a bowl that I got yesterday accidentally. After the gym, I went straight to teaching for like a couple of hours and I needed some food. So I got kind of an acai bowl. Acai, acai, however you're supposed to fucking say it. <laughs> And everyone argues to the point where it's not fun. It's not fun to say that word. <laughs> Raclette. Cheese. Yeah, I've heard of that from my French friends. They say it's very good. Anyway, back to my story. Um, where was I? Go back and look at the comments, and no one has talked about anything I was saying. I don't even remember. I don't remember. Got so distracted. The bowl. Oh yeah. Um. So I got, I picked one, as I was like getting ready to leave, and then I was like, ah, oh, I don't know if I want that one. So I refreshed the page. And I forgot about this fancy little thing called cart save, where your cart gets saved. They save your your place, which is so nice of them because then when you start a new order, because you obviously just assumed the old one canceled out because of so much time passing, you ordered two bowls instead of one because you left the other one in your cart because you forgot that you had already put it. So basically what happened to me is I meant to only order myself, like, enough food for right then and there. And then I looked in the bag and I had two bowls instead of one. And I was like, oh, wow. They love me here. They gave me a free bowl. And then I was like, a free bowl that I paid for because I forgot to take the other one out of my car. <laughs> so now I have two. And the other one's in the fridge. And it's, like, perfectly ready to be eaten. And I paid for it yesterday, and it was the fruit of my accidental labor, and I am i think I should eat it for you. For, for you, as a performance. I'm going to perform a new bit, a new trigger today, called eating an acai bowl. Acai? Acai? Don't know, it's got bananas, though. It looks good. I'm gonna go grab it for you. For me. Okay, I got it, and I got these, and I got so distracted by opening these, because I forgot I got them. Um, I need a spoon, is what I'm trying to say. Also, if you know, you know. So good. And in the fridge. But yeah, if you heard that sound, it was me tearing the little... Not anything else. Okay. No one probably thought otherwise, but just in case you did.
I also forgot. All of the small spoons are in the dishwasher, so I'm going to be using this big one. Very big spoon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Perfect size. Um, this is a protein bowl. Some people are going to think it looks delish. Some people are going to think it looks disgusting. I honestly don't even know what's all in here. I've never gotten this one. I might not like it. I have something very specific I stick to, and this ain't it. <laughs> My spoon is too big. My spoon is too big. I'm, I'm wiggling around like this because when they do the drawing in that, you know how it's just like a little bit like off. <laughs> I'm a banana. It's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> next year. Just save it for next year. We're going for legacy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And you just set my um, hourly game up and get the one that's just the most streaming hours. And when I go full time, I'm just going to stream 24 hours a day every single day. I'm, I'm probably never going to actually do that though, I'm not going to lie to you. It sounds like way too much. That video is so funny. Mmm. Mmm. What the hell is this? Gam Jade's one just subscribe. It's like a peanut butter fudge like block. And it tastes so freaking good when you bite into it. Okay, I will say, I have a confession about this <laughs> experience I'm having. It's still a little, like, melty. I have had it in the fridge since I got home yesterday, but... Um, the original consistency was probably a little better. I should have put it in the freezer. And then thought it out. But anyway, this did like sit for a little bit yesterday and it got kind of runny. And then like the top little bit is kind of stuck. So I'm honestly at this point just like stirring it up <laughs> so I can at least get everything. But anyway. It still tastes really good. You like it melty? <laughs> I'm kind of like that with ice cream. Not super melty, but like... I like when it's like... Okay. This is so specific. But it's like a huge window into my particular nature. When I was a kid... I was so specific about my ice cream texture. I would get those nice big scoops of super frozen ice cream and I would just wait. And I would wait and maybe eat a little bit as it was like starting to melt off of the very side, but I would wait until it had melted enough. There was like pools of melted ice cream on the side and the middle was like 
firm, but almost like a potato after it's been boiled, where you can like mush it. It's not like hard. And then I would mush it down into the running ice cream. And I would start like whisking it together. And I would make it into this like soft serve slurry type of <laughs> deal. Like not even soup though. Like it would still have that like but like not really, but it would. It was still thick. Smoosh, yeah, like <laughs> but like not no. It's not as thick as ice cream from McDonald's or like a soft serve ice cream cone. It's it's still like a little runnier than that, but not quite. Like it holds its texture. Its texture though is like it's like applesauce or something. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's like applesauce, but like ice cream. And it's so I it, I couldn't eat it until it, it was like that, and then I would just, in like two minutes. <laughs> Smoosh cream. I'm so glad that other people shared that experience with me. Um, flavor? Flavor does not matter. I was a vanilla girl, personally. But I'm sure it would be good with every flavor. Mm hmm. It's like aerated ice cream, totally. Mmm. Crushing up Oreos and mixing it with milk. Yum. Are we talking about softening up ice cream so it tastes better? Sort of. It does definitely taste better in my opinion. You like wait for the ice cream to melt a little bit and then you mix it for a, for a little while. And then you eat it and it's almost like this texture. Like... It's like not runny, but it's not, it doesn't like quite like stay on the spoon, you know? I know adults are always like, that's so weird. That's how my entire family treated me. They were like, why are you doing that to your ice cream? Why are you mixing it up? Like it's all the same. And I was like, it's not. It's not about that. <laughs> like, it is, but it's not. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm so happy that other people understand that. Mmm, that sounds good. Mix the melted ice cream with peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Texture is just as important as flavor. Completely agree. Anyway, you should try it sometime. Let your ice cream melt a little bit and then whisk it all together god it's so reassuring to know other people were particular like that about their ice cream good to know it was a good movie Sintrobi said the zone of interest ended up winning a couple of awards. At the Grammys, I'm assuming you mean. Mm hmm.
I used to make a peanut butter, banana, vanilla, chocolate chip, like little chocolate chips, milkshake. It was so good. Banana, vanilla ice cream, chocolate chip, peanut butter. Mix it up. Milkshake. Little bits of crunchiness. And you put ice. Little bits of crunchiness from the ice and the chocolate chip. Smooth banana, ice cream, peanut butter savoriness. So good. I got some good recipes, you guys. And all of them are adjustable to your own liking. Whatever ratio you prefer. Mm -hmm. You could totally add protein powder. I was just thinking about that. I was like, that was before I was going to the gym and I should totally make... I was just thinking I should make that with some protein. It sounds good. I mean, peanut butter has protein. And bananas have potassium and other vitamins. But... Maybe. Instead of the ice cream part, <laughs> I could do like a vanilla protein shake mix or something. Could be good. Oh. Kiwi's still sleeping. She's so sleepy. It's kind of hard to see her though. Here we go, she's sleeping. Someone said, I recently learned that the definition of a vitamin is something that your body needs to function, but it does not make on its own. Why would we evolve to have things like that? That sounds dumb. Why is any organism or creature not completely self-sufficient? We should be providing our own nutrients that we're also using, like, and no waste no excrement like i just that's so dumb so dumb what the hell <gasps> mhm mm and we're redesigning people cuz like I'm sorry but this current model just ain't it it's not performing very well as you guys can see I think there's room for improvement in the human species design I really do I think there's room for <laughs> a couple things to go a little differently I don't know if the post-COVID world is self-sufficiency. It almost seems like everyone's just shitting their pants. <laughs> seems like kind of the opposite. Our bodies are getting less functional. We're all getting cancer and dying at like 25. That's how old I am. Shouldn't have said that. Knock on my fake, <laughs> fake wood desk. True, yeah photosynthesizing is one thing but I'm talking like I'm talking on a deeper level than that like obviously no I am i don't know of any organism that's like this but like the way that our cells are creating things you know uh, what's the word I'm looking for creating chemicals there we go I don't know why it took me so long. The way that they're creating different chemicals, why can't they create 
chemicals in particular to a nourish their own particular like type of cell so the cell basically creates its own food and then consumes it and obviously its consumption could then lead a byproduct to be you know if it was if the cell is smart enough the byproduct of it consuming its own resource would be more of the resource that it needs to consume to then make the byproduct which is the resource and then it would just keep going like this it would recharge itself like infinitely which i mean how would anything ever die i guess if everything was so self-sufficient <laughs> how would it ever die um not sure but anyway imagine like the liver cell supplied the liver with nutrients the stomach cells supplied the stomach with nutrients you probably wouldn't even need to have all these different types of cells in the body it would be we'd be a little more blobby that's probably the problem as our organism itself would end up looking like a little blob if we were so self-sufficient we would just be a little bacteria not only surviving but thriving <laughs> but see even bacteria doesn't it like eat things outside of itself like does anything eat itself but also is like fueled by that is that even possible it's just something i've never put this much thought into maybe now is not a good time <laughs> now is not the right time for my philosophical thoughts and feelings about all that yeah essentially the waste product gets recycled back into a resource that can be consumed no need for food or water or excretions like pee and poo you wouldn't do any of that you wouldn't intake and you wouldn't output you would simply be cycling internally pretty crazy like a breatharian <laughs> but see even they're feeding off of the air Mm-hmm. 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 Sure, sure. Like the yin and the yang. <laughs> but if you don't consume, who's going to eat all the melted ice cream? Well, that is a good question. And a fair reason for us to have to deal with the consequence of stomachs that have to intake externally and output externally. We have reached an impact. Oh my goodness. What is your skincare routine? I don't have one. I really don't. I don't use skincare products. I probably should. I'm sure I will see wrinkles permanently. I already have like those ones. Whatever. I'm gonna get old. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Because it's gonna happen. 
if I worry or not. And if I worry, it's not going to be as fun. So, <laughs> what's the point in doing that? <laughs> it's true. That's what I tell myself too. I'm like, anyone that doesn't have that has Botox, so. You know, at least it's not paralyzed. Like, it can, like, wheel. I can make all these cool expressions, like Jim Carrey. Except I can't, I can't be the Grinch. <laughs> have you seen that interview of him? Where he does that face, and then he's like, the parents are like, oh, I thought it was makeup. <laughs> he's so funny. I just love him. And I loved him even more when he went crazy. Like, I was like, yes, I feel that. Facts, it's true. He is a legend, I agree. You bet sure you 100 euros, she won't notice you? Who's taking on that bet? Mirio? I'll pretend that that didn't happen just now, because that technically counts as me noticing you. So, you know, if you want a fair, a fair chance. Aging is not a crime, so it's cool. You don't think crime is cool? <sighs> Only things that are legal are cool. You're lame. Let me get this guy out of here. Get this guy a joint. I'm just kidding. I agree with you. Aging is not a crime, nor something to be A, ashamed of, and B, shameful of. <laughs> to shame others for. <laughs> Being a convicted felon, dope. That's dope. He can control every single muscle on his face. He can, I swear. If you can name 10 European countries, I'll become a hundred dollar euro patron for life. Um, I'm nervous to embarrass myself because I have a confession that A, I haven't studied geography in years, but B, I would be more worried, you know, less of not being able to name 10 countries and more so of naming countries that are not considered to be in Europe because I'm not sure where the distinction of Europe starts and stops like is UK Europe I don't think so like <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just like Germany it is come on you can definitely do 10 okay let's see <clears throat> Germany is Sweden in Europe like those countries, Norway, Denmark, um, France. What did I start with? Did I say Germany? Can't remember. Um, hold on. Amsterdam. I have two more. Three, actually. Um, I'm missing a big one. Italy. Greece? Is that in Europe? <laughs> Does that count as Europe? And uh, Amsterdam is a city, see? This is why I'm like <laughs> uh, Okay, let me put a finger down. Uh, hold on. Two more. Finland? <laughs> And, like, 
Iceland and Greenland, are those considered in Europe? I feel like Iceland would be way more than Greenland would be. Greenland is Danish. That's why I said Iceland instead of Greenland, because Iceland is more technically for you guys on this screen. It'd be more this way, and then Greenland is like over here, and it's a big island. It's pretty big. Did you say Denmark? I did. Greenland is owned by Denmark? Interesting. Yeah, I don't think... Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, is there more? Is Turkey part of Europe or no? Spain? Sure, that's part of Europe. I guess I just like don't... <laughs> like, see this is where I like falter because I've never been there. I've never been to Europe so I don't... Portugal? True. True. Part of Turkey is in Europe. Europe is an ill-defined term. That's kind of where I'm like, I need to brush up on what the world considers to be European in location. Netherlands, sure, sure. I said Italy, thankfully. Thankfully I said that. Oh yeah, Switzerland, true. I said Sweden, and then I just was like, that's good on the S's. <laughs> Wait, so Amsterdam is in what country? Denmark? Three just What's up? Romania, Netherlands, Netherlands. Romania, Bosnia. I know there was one. Like, isn't there one that starts with a C? Yeah, Croatia. There we go. That one's in Europe, right? <laughs> that was funny. I remember that. I, you know, Romania, I'm not really super familiar with. Hungary, I could have said I've had a couple of friends that have went there recently. As well as Turkey, which is why I said that. Because I was like, oh, Turkey, I remember my friends who went on a European trip into Turkey. Dracula lives there. I see. Austria. True, true. Can you do 10 South American? Oof. Um, <laughs> Brazil. Argentina. Is there even 10? Chile. Colombia. Um, Panama doesn't count, does it? Peru. You guys are saying that in the chat, though. I can't. I'm like, I can't look. Someone said Bolivia. My dad went there. Don't help me, you guys. <sighs> it's been so long since I've done geography. I, get, I did well when I used to take the tests, so. though. In middle school. Like, maybe high school. Once. In, like, sophomore year. Which was, like, ten years ago, so... It's been a while, but I want to travel. Costa Rica, how could I forget that one? Somewhere I really want to go. Um, I'm on seven. I love that today has just become a quiz. Oh, 
Oh, it's central. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Venezuela, Honduras, and El Salvador. Those are the finish. There's 13. Got it, got it. I was gonna say Paraguay, but I was scared that that... Oh, Ecuador! True. How could I forget? Quite literally on the equator. No. <laughs> oh my. Those are central. Guyana, I've never really heard anything about that country. No, can we not? Really? No. So many good quotes today. <laughs> Sir. All right, let's see. North Korea, South Korea, China, Taiwan, um, Japan. Um, I said Taiwan, I didn't say Thailand. And does the Philippines count? Beetlejuice Not really. I know I'm doing extra credit. I'm trying. I'm trying to like remember all the Asian countries over there. Cambodia. Is that over there? Do you remember what I am? Mm, I want to say Vietnamese, but. Could be wrong. I don't know why that came so fast. Okay, that's because I'm right. <laughs> Thank God. Curious underscore George is underscore at tip twenty five dollars. Hope life you is treating so you well. Less than three. Thank you. Curious underscore George is underscore at happy Tuesday. Happy Count Tuesday. Happy. Less than three. China's gonna cancel you. Why? I said them third after North and South Korea. Um, someone said Vietnam. I did not say that one. There's, I feel like something I'm missing. Like, I, I know Cantonese is a language. <laughs> Where does that come from? Who speaks Cantonese? Singapore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Taiwan isn't a country to them? Oh, really? Yeah, that's because I was raised with millennials, not Gen Zers. Laos, yeah, true, 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 true. China. Interesting. All right. Good to know. Good to know. It's a language in China. Thank you for answering that. Half of Turkey, apparently the other half. Is India in Asia or is it its own section? Okay. Wait, does that mean like, yeah, I'm like, wait, is the Middle East, like Iran and like Afghanistan, Pakistan? Some of Russia? Okay, all right, all right. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, okay. Um, mm, now I'm trying to think of like all the trades. That's what I remember about, I don't know, like when I did geography, I was 
mainly remembering where everything was based on like history of like trade and like how things were imported and like from where and to who Mongolia yep yep true 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 Follow the Silk Road, yep. Good night. Australia, New Zealand, true. Then we have to say like Fiji, Samoa, like all the islands, Guam. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Enjoy the outdoors. Now on to Africa. Oh, that was the one I was always the worst at. Kenya. <laughs> That's where my dad went once. Um... See? Terrible. <laughs> I'm pulling up a map. I'm done with this. It's just time for me to study. Also, I put an e file on the wish list. I forgot that I did that. Bunny! Bun man! It's underscored on the I rated my stream with 501. I'm so surprised you're already done. I feel like you usually stream later than me, not earlier. I'm just shocked that you're here right now. Bunny Raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Little buns. Sorry, she was probably whispering. Let me, let me get better. Her ASMR is superior to mine, so I need to step my game. a hundred K have you had I can't remember are you not there yet because I think if you're not at a hundred K I was asking myself why the fuck you're not at a hundred K but if you just hit it then congrats 80 ish okay I was like trying to have my photographic memory come back and I was like I think she's at like 86 but I could be wrong but anyway yeah that's who it was yeah no, you've been uploading a lot lately. That's why I was like, she's definitely going to get it soon. So exciting. I'm just going to look something up. I can't remember. What was I going to look up? No, not the birds are not real. Guys. Thank you. I'm going to have these on my website pretty soon. But they're only going to be in a certain amount of size. They're gonna be more like pink earrings for the men. Cause like the band is just so dainty that like it's just not suited for size 15. It just would not look the same. So it's only gonna be to like size 9. But that's still like a good pink earring for most men. Which I just think it gives pink earring vibes if you're gonna wear it as a man. You could always wear it with this ring, too, and stack them. Which of this ring and the flower spiral ring are now available in solid gold instead of gold fill. Oh, I was looking up a map. That's what I was doing. Because the stream has been quizzing me. Everyone who's coming in from Bunny stream, they're really, like, up my ass about my geography today, which is fine. Because you know what? I need to work on it a little bit, so. We're just going to study a map for a little bit. The world. Uh... 
All right, a political map of the world. How lovely. Okay, you know what also is hard about this for me is like we always studied them on such a large scale that there's so many little arrows pointing. That's not helpful, okay? I want to see the name of the country inside of every single one. How could I forget Estonia? All of you guys forgot Estonia too. And Lat Latvia and Lithuania and Belarus. How could you guys forget all of them? And Slovakia, true, true. And Jordan, that was one I couldn't remember earlier. Iraq, I, I said Iran, but I didn't say Iraq. What's Azerbaijan? I've never really heard of that one. I've heard of Kyr Kyrgyzstan, Kyr Kyrgyzstan. And Tajikistan. I've heard of them. Nepal. How could we not say that? Myanmar. And Malaysia. I never said that. Um, Moldova. Macedonia, Cyprus, that was the one I was trying to think of earlier, but I kept thinking Cyprus was in Greece, but Cyprus was the one when I was like, it starts with a C, that's the one I was actually thinking of, Cyprus, unless that's what you guys said, and then I was like, yes, but I swear you said something else. Luxembourg. Oh, Lebanon. Never said that one. Cameroon. Somalia. Never said that. Forgot about that. And Israel. How can I forget? <laughs> so much happening there right now. In Egypt. Tunisia. Morocco. I had a friend growing up from Morocco. She went there every summer. I can't believe I forgot that. Mali. Mali. I've never heard of that. Probably. I'm sure when I was in school I had, but I don't know anything about that place. Oh, also I forgot Ireland, I think. And San Marino. And Monaco. Are all these, are these like... These have to be like capitals, there's no way. They're pointing to all these little places. Cause France is wait. Never mind, actually. I thought okay, never mind, never mind. <sighs> no, I said Italy the first time. Yeah, they're so tiny, some of these little baby countries. It's so cool. That's why I'm like, I wanna go to Europe. It takes me 30 minutes to get to a different city sometimes. <laughs> Martin underscore 17 just resubscribed for four months. Welcome Love back. You. Love you. I don't know. I've, I've always wanted to drive like two hours and go through four different countries. You're kidding me. Countries. It's so cool.
I'm not the best at playing it, I'm not gonna lie. At least, I don't know, this one has always made like a scrapey sound. I think I'm just pushing on it. Weird. You always like it. That's good. <laughs> Were you double chatting, Sinchobi? Is that why you're a raider? What the heck? Cheater? A little cheater? What the heck? My gosh. Okay. Cheered X1000. Evening all. Evening. Thank you for the cheer. It is the key of C. You are correct. I have three of them. Cinco gifted Wicked Ton a subscription. Cinco gifted a tier one sub to Wicked Ton. They have given 251 gift subs in the channel. Congrats, Wicked Ton. Welcome back. Score last 123 cheered X 100. <laughs> the code. <laughs> that was a bad joke.
Retro Cunt just resubscribed for nine months. I'm sure if you place the bass it would be louder, but I feel like on the microphone it would like vibrate onto it and it would just be annoying for you guys. So that's why I don't like put it directly on here like this, but I'm sure it would sound really good. Um, I have to go teach, actually. I almost forgot. <laughs> oh, whatever. You've been putting in the work and like you ruin your channel, so I have big hopes for you. I feel like you're gonna just keep going up as long as you don't do anything crazy and get canceled. <laughs> Which I'm assuming you're not gonna. Um. But anyway, I'm gonna go get ready to go teach. I need to like, I don't know. Get dressed, pet my cats, maybe eat a little more. This bowl is good, but I don't know. I want something maybe a little hotter. Hotter. I want something hotter. Like a sandwich or something. So I'm gonna be gone for a couple of hours, so. Ryman 189 just subscribed. Welcome. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoy yourself. Um, I'm also flattered for the prime sub. Sorry, it was buffering. <laughs> Let's raid Miss Tricky. Let's pay back what she's been doing for us. Um, we are going to raid. And I hope that you enjoy our friend Miss Tricky's stream. Check her channel first. For what? See if you approve. Okay. Sure, sure. Why is she like doing something inappropriate? Oh, she's just chilling and like talking. I see, I see, I see. Um, okay. Wait, you said Chrissy's on? Chrissy's always fun to raid. We should definitely stay in the ASMR. Um, yeah, I did say tricky stream. Christy Skyler. Oh wait, no, I wasn't. <laughs> so were you or were you not? Everything comes down to this. Oh, hell yeah, she's been on for a while. Okay, you guys, if you're enjoying Christy's stream, she's trying to hit the eligibility goal just like me. She really doesn't want you to gift subs. She wants you to manually subscribe. So if you want to help support, you could subscribe to her. She's trying to get partner plus just like me. Um, she's got 86 viewers right now, so any raid is going to be really fun. We could make it a big splash. Could be a good time. Um, before we go, we're going to copy our little raid message, and it's going to say... Hold on, hold on. Hype. Four times. Cherie raid in between feel free to copy and paste this is the raid message my youtube friends if you want to raid you're gonna have to pop over to twitch otherwise you're just gonna have the stream end but everyone on twitch will be redirected to a different stream so if you would like to be redirected you're gonna have to not only go on to twitch but then log in so you can be redirected it's all good if not um I have a bunch of stuff on the wish list. I can't forget to keep saying that because I have a bunch of stuff on the wish list, including an e file <laughs> nail thing, which was random and I added it today. Uh, what else? Be nice to Christy. She's really kind, really sweet, just like a great person. So be nice to her. Don't troll her. She's too nice for that. Be cool. 
be cool be cool mm, my socials are exclamation point links or socials whatever you prefer i have a throne wish list which i am considering putting this pack of tuning forks on since you guys are liking the sounds i also need to play my hand pan with the echo effect maybe we'll do that tomorrow maybe we'll do that tomorrow remind me if i forget um i don't have anything else really so don't forget to type in the raid message it looks like this i'll spam it for you copy and paste it that's what her chat should look like just raid 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 okay and now we are gonna go raid and i'll see you tomorrow okay here we go yeah it is aggressive the raid has been creative creative <laughs> created hope you have so much fun oh yeah oh we're almost everybody love it let's get a big raid going for this can we get over a thousand people in this raid that would be incredible i'll see you enjoy be nice to christy don't forget the raid message <gasps> oh my god let's go thousand viewers <laughs>